So in the late 1960s, Margaret Drabble, who was an English writer, made this film for the BBC called I Love This Dirty Town. And it's basically her plea against the city planners and the city councillors who were responsible at the time for the expansion of suburbia on the outskirts of London and for what she saw as very skewed priorities in the development of central London. And she goes around and she follows kind of artists, writers, theatre directors, sculptors uh, around the city in this series of kind of quite informal and quite long form interviews. And at one point, Sean Kenny, who was quite a prominent Irish set designer who was working in the West End in the 60s, comes down to the banks of the Thames and he's wearing all black and he starts talking about the so called so aesthetics of the new development projects being built on the river and about how they're lifeless and imported and disease and how that the old factories and docks which are now either all long gone or been converted into flats represent a kind of utility, a sense of life and a beating heart. Well, there's Vickers Nickers building and all that kind of stuff. And he walks along a bit further and he stops. And he points across the river to the Mermaid Theatre by the Blackfriars Bridge, which is being run by Bernard Miles. And he says that, points across, and then he says that the Mermaid is basically the last stand against this kind of drawing board architecture that is the battleground for um, artistic integrity, really, in central London. And these, these main problems weren't financial in running a theatre. It was actually holding on to something, which to the uh, city planner, to the, the uh, town council, city council, would seem mad. Why should you have a theatre at all anyway, you know? 